So there's a lot to talk about with the rookie quarterbacks here. Let's start with the Giants. Let's go half full rather than half empty. Daniel Jones is a guy that you have been critical of in the past. You were very impressed with him last week. What did you see yesterday? Yeah, a little bit more like a, a, a resetting of the market in a way, right? I mean, he looked a lot more like the kid that I saw on a film a ton at Duke. Uh, I said that he was a, a lot like Alex Smith coming out of college, where short passes, he was going to pick you apart, really accurate. But when he wanted to throw the ball downfield, sometimes the ball died a little bit. Sometimes when he had pressure in his face, he made some mistakes. So, again, great week one, a little bit more back to earth yesterday. Not a cause for panic, but when he gets some pressure in his face and wants to deliver the football downfield like the case is for a lot of quarterbacks, he tends to make some mistakes. And that's a little bit a part of his game, that ball dying downfield. Short stuff, he will pick you apart. What would you think, Rex? I thought it was a better performance than that, obviously, and maybe I'm seeing things through rose-colored glasses, but I don't think so. What I saw was a guy that kept his poise in this game and a guy that used his athleticism again uh, to ha get some big first downs. And look, every quarterback struggles with, with pressure sure. in his face, obviously, sure. right? I mean, it's hard to step in your throws and, and be as accurate as you want to be. So we saw some of that. Yeah, as a human, is there going to be growing pains? It's only a second game. What I saw, they won the game 24-3 to or whatever it was. Yep. And to me, he made some big plays and extended, uh, you know, uh, some runs on third down as well. I, I thought he, he played well. Yeah, for me, I agree with you completely. I mean, he's an athlete. He makes plays. He can make every single throw. And he has recharged something in that Giants locker room that Eli wasn't able to do. It almost makes me feel like Danny Dimes has a little bit of a William Wallace inside of him. That defense, before he got in the game, everybody said, stunk. Everybody's like, it doesn't matter how good Danny Dimes is. The Giants defense stinks. Do you know what has happened to that Giants defense? They still stink. They do still stink. False. They don't stink. <laughs> as bad. They've been able to create five turnovers since Danny Jones has come on the field. Zero with Eli on the football field. And the opposing team's QBR has dropped 50% since Daniel Jones has gotten on the field. That does some things for your team. The defense knows that they got a guy on offense. It elevates everybody's play. Or... Potentially, Daniel Jones is playing against a Redskins team that is absolutely garbage, a dumpster <laughs> fire. Jay Gruden could potentially be there consulting with the Oakland Raiders in about three to four weeks under his brother John Gruden's team. But I would like to give a little bit more credit to what Danny Dimes has brought to the entire organization, not just to the offense. I'd like to pick up on the second part of what you just said because there are more quarterbacks who were ruined in the National Football League than are developed. And if you're in Washington right now, you know two things. One, you know that firing Jay Gruden does not even begin to address the problem. And if you think it does you haven't paid attention to the last 20 years so that's a b and this to me is a bigger problem i don't think that the coaches want or mm -hmm. wanted to draft Dwayne Haskins. Mm. I don't think they want to play him. I think that is being dictated from upstairs. I think Dwayne Haskins knows it. I think that's one of the reasons you're seeing the body language you are from him. Right now, I'm genuinely concerned because, again, this is how you ruin a young, talented quarterback. Well, and, and look, in all fairness, look, he played terrible in the game. You know, if he wasn't ready to play, he wasn't ready to <laughs> he play. He wasn't ready to play. We get it. He only had one year playing experience. Right. And compared to Daniel Jones, who had three years as a starting quarterback in college, it still matters that way. But I look at it this way. Grinny, is there going to be competition? I said it early in the season. Mm -hmm. There would be competition for that first pick. Is Washington one of those teams? They certainly look like. And to like your it. point, Dwayne Haskins never really faced adversity on the field at Ohio State. It's certainly in, in wins and losses last year. And now he's part of a really bad football team. And that might lend to some of that body language. The reality is it's not time to start Dwayne Haskins because he's not ready and they have no choice because they're that bad of an organization. There yeah. will never be a time, I don't think. I mean, that Redskins team, just like you said in the New York Times, Greeny, is in a bad spot. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. <laughs> they are Right now, they are the worst of the non-tanking teams. Of all the teams that are trying to win football games, they are the worst at it. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports and analysis, download the ESPN app and for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.